In tonight's Eye on America, scientists are studying ways to save endangered species. David Schechter tells us they're using medical devices developed for humans to better understand the inner workings of animals. That's Masala, a nine-year-old clouded leopard. He's under anesthesia and surrounded by a team of doctors. During his regular checkup, something unusual is happening. He's getting a tiny heart monitor implanted under his skin. This will be where the device should be entering. Rosana Moraes, a Brazilian biologist, studies how high stress levels in animals can hinder their ability to thrive and breed. Masala's new heart monitor will record changes in his body temperature, hydration, and heart rate, which all tell a lot about an animal's level of stress and anxiety. Is this a big leap forward in animal care? It's uh, gigantic. Clouded leopards are agile climbers that live in trees. In the wild, though, their population is in steep decline due to habitat destruction and illegal hunting for their coats and body parts. Masala is part of a breeding program to help preserve the species at the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute in Front Royal, Virginia. Lately, he's been anxious, biting his tail, and they're not exactly sure why. You basically will know the moment that he gets stressed out. Perfect, that is it, because otherwise, if we just look at them, We're just guessing. we cannot tell for sure. In the wild, using a minimally invasive procedure, the Smithsonian has implanted these tiny Bluetooth heart monitors in eight species around the world, including these giant anteaters in South America. Show me all the animals you can track from your phone. Okay. ADAC is a grizzly bear. These two are clouded leopards. Here's the heart rhythm of Masala. Tim Lasky is a biologist who studies bears, but his day job is vice president of research at Medtronic, the world's largest medical device company, which donates the technology. The monitors are designed for humans, but Lasky realized expired devices still had many years of life in them and could help with our understanding of animals. We've implanted more than 600 over the years, and these are all devices that would otherwise have been disposed of. Because of these monitors, scientists can now use data to assess which captive Maine wolves, for example, have the best temperament to thrive in the wild, or when a pack of scimitar horned oryx out in the wild are stressed by humans encroaching on their habitat. What is the thing that excites you the most? about what you're doing, number one. First is to see the data and that thing that was hidden somewhere that we couldn't guess. And then we see and say, oh, this is great. Powerful insights on a planet where our own activities are rapidly pushing beloved species closer to extinction. For I in America, I'm David Schechter in Front Royal, Virginia.